administration power. So HANA administration, SAP HANA administration part here. So we are discussing about the HANA studio administration we have discussed. In the HANA studio we discussed about the, so these tabs like overview tab, what and all the things we can see in the overview tab here. So here something wrong, something red, something is going to be wrong, then you will get the yellow ash color then green if it is the green you will see the green color here so there is a space issue i think there is a disk space is going to low so like cpu utilization also it's going to be red so like that we can see the all those things here the process status all the information we can see it here what are the process status here how the process are running here right what is the cpu utilization memory utilization is then a recent restart in the 18th 18th august 18th is the last restart happened in the system so then after that no restarts we can check in the alerts tab are there any critical errors in the system or not here we can check it out here see here disk usage backups everything is more than 97 percentage here performance tab here in the performance tab we can see are there any long running sessions long running threads in the system so that will be so we can see it here right that we can see it here what are the sessions and the long running which is running from long durations here we can see it here right volume tab so check the spaces volumes and everything here configuration parameter changes system settings anything we can do it here system information diagnostic files like log files and all we can check it out here and trace configurations traces configuring collecting the more logs from the system all those things we discussed in the our earlier classes here so that is the one side of monitoring the ana systems in the safer zone in the safer zone if you want to monitor so we can we have a manual monitoring we can do that one so apart from that apart from that so to monitor the so we have some more topics also there in the hana suppose if we want to stop and restart we can do the stop and restart mm -hmm. of the hana systems we can perform it right so we can perform the restarts also we can perform it right in the this is the then one more thing is in hana license the license here hana license hana license here so license so HANA license is very important for HANA databases here. By default, you will get the temporary license. There are the two types of license we have in SAP systems for HANA system. Two types of licenses here, right? One is the temp license, temporary license. Second one is the, the permanent license, permanent license here. Temp license, which means temporary only. So temporary license is valid only 90 days only 90 days only right 90 days means three months after you install the hana database you will get only three months license period suppose if you just right click on the system db go to the properties and there is a license tab here you can see the license what is the license you are using here right it's a temporary license it is available only three months only after three months what will happen your system will be locked for the operation system will not deleted system will not be down so system will not accept any transactions system will not accept any transactions in the sap system cl so it will not accept any trans it will be locked for operations again you need to apply the license to apply the license just click on the install the license key just browse the text keys whatever the text key you have you can browse it here that license will be applied that license will be applied to the here right it will be permanent it will be permanent license key we can apply it here right so here how many so temporary license it's a 90 days period so within this 90 days you are free to use the license we can use it without any uh, downtime or anything you can use the, your sap systems right so on our systems you can use it so permanent license Permanent license key has two types again. One is the enforced. Second one is the unenforced. Enforced and unenforced here. 
enforced and unenforced here. So, so SAP HANA, they are permanent as the two types here, enforced and unenforced here, enforced and unenforced license here. So, what is the scenario like enforced license means here, See, enforced license means here, so one is the temporary and second, not the temporary, one is the prepaid, second one is the forced paid here. So, means uh, like uh, temp means limited, unlimited, prepaid and post paid here, right? Prepaid and post paid here. That is the difference here. Temporary lies in the in the permanent here. Means predefined expiration date here. So, there is a request explicitly we can request for the service market price here, right? So, normally these are the <clears throat> these are the unlimited access, unlimited validity date unlimited so which means so we, we don't have any limitation but enforced we can set the limitations predefined expiration date we can set it out here so but once the permanent license key is expired so suppose like you set the enforced you set the this we don't have any this is the unlimited this is the limited maybe limited for one year two years this limit is over then your system will be locked temporary license key will be valid only 28 days again means after the permanent license key is expired temp you will get only 28 days only you will not get 90 days here actually permanent is expired then we system will be locked but here 28 days we can get the license that is part of the so in the enforced one you will get the 28 days license you will get here right a new queue we have to install Again, for 28 days, we must request a new license key in the meanwhile, we have to request here, right? So, permanent license key. So, before 28 days, we need to request the new license key here, right? That is what we have to do it in the systems here, right? So, a permanent license key has two types, as I mentioned here, enforced and unenforced license key here, right? So, here, this is the enforced and unenforced also here. But in the enforced license, what is mean by enforced here? This is like a license. If the normally when we requesting the ANA is mainly ANA, ANA license works based upon the main memory. ANA license works based upon the main memory. So like suppose example, this is your HANA system, right? You have the one terabyte RAM memory you have, one terabyte RAM you have. So HANA, HANA will start using the all the memory, memory. So all the HANA will start using this one. So once the license memory, you purchased only 900 GB only. You have the one terabyte RAM, but you purchased only 900 GB only here. But Hana, if the user exceeds the license limit, the limit is 900 GB, you have only one terabyte data is there. But if it exceeds the 900 GB, so we so system, you need to restart the system and request a request for the new permanent license installation or extend the memory limit that we have to do that one. Right? So that is what we have to do it. And first one's limited one. Limited one means so you have the only you have the limitations are there. And the limited one means you have the limitations, which means also you have the one terabyte RAM, but you purchased only for the 900 GB means you are entertained to use only 900 GB only. But your HANA usage rate is more than 900 GB, then immediately system will be locked, system will be restarted we may have to restart or we may have to extend the license. These things we have to do it. What about the unenforced here? The unenforced license is unlimited again. That is the unlimited kind of postpaid. No effect in the system. System will not be locked down. Instead of user just warnings, we will receive it. Then we can use the so one terabyte memory. We can more than that. If you are using more than that, we can use it. But nothing will happen to the this one. Means post pay. Post pay means uh, monthly month end you will get the bill unlimited. You can usage it here. This is the prepaid bill. 
prepaid means you have purchased the five fifty rupees recharge, then thirty rupees you will get. You are entertained to use only thirty rupees when it will be going to expire. That is your wish. But you are only limited to use the thirty rupees only. Once thirty rupees is done, your phone will not send any calls to the receivers. Then that is that is what same as like here. You are whatever the amount you are purchasing license have limit only nine hundred GB. Then you are entertained to use only nine hundred GB only. More than nine and nine zero one, then your system will be locked for the operations. That is called the license limit, right? Or a license limit here, sir. You said that like permanent license key also. We said the maximum both are we can set as a unlimited or there is a predefined expiration date also we can set. But if you set the one year now oh, i need one, one year validity means after one year you have forgot to extend it then automatically it will be so temporary license will be installed by 28 days only 28 days only the permanent license key the temporary license will be installed initially 90 days you will get then after you apply the permanent license key then the permanent license also expired then again 28 days temporary license you will get in the hana system so this is the way Sir. our license works in the HANA systems. Yes. In worst case, suppose uh, we forgot to uh, rename the license after 28 days or so, then what could be the scenario? <coughs> system will be down. System down. will be locked down. Then again, we have to apply from OS level with some SAP like there is a commands. We have to use it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, we have to apply it. Okay. Nothing will happen. Nothing will be deleted. Nothing will happen. System will be locked. Okay. We have to unlock it by applying the license. How to apply the license? Go to the HANA studio. Right click on the system DB. Apply the properties. System license. Just install the license. Just click on the install the license. The license will be installed. Like the uh, same uh, process uh, we were doing in the ECC systems. Like right, that. right. Uh, SAP same Right, right, right. Here, hardware key is available. SID is available. We can apply it. Sir, how to download this license? Service marketplace. In the service marketplace. Can you show one, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 